What's up everybody and welcome to our 30 minute spine kin stretch class. So today I've got Haley as our demo and our assistant. So the way the class will run is I'll be coaching her and then referencing you guys different ways to do things and added layered cueing. Kin stretch is an irradiation body control class. So we're gonna use everything off of a zero to 100% irradiation, and that is how I'll cue challenge. You will need two uh, objects today. A foam roller is gonna be necessary. So we're gonna use a foam roller, and then either a heavy weight, we're using a 62 pound kettlebell, or a pole that you're able to grab onto and kind of lock into, but uh, a heavy dumbbell or kettlebell will work best. Okay, we're gonna start class off doing an irradiation scale. So we're gonna cover what irradiation is. It is full body tension. So I'm gonna have Haley stand tall. Haley, meet me at 20% irradiation, okay? So Haley's at 20% irradiation right now. You'll notice her fists are squeezed, uh, her forearms are tight, her shoulders are pulled back, core is engaged, but she's, she's soft, right? She, she's not too engaged. Now turn it up to 40% and y'all are doing this with us. Good, turn it up to 60%. All right, now you're seeing a little bit of shake. You're seeing veins start to pop. Her face is starting to tighten and 80% turn it up. Good, and 100% Haley, I want you to squeeze everything you can. So you'll see, as I bump her, she is super strong and sturdy. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly turn that down. Good job. Hey, so throughout the, the class today, I will reference different percentages of irradiation. So off of that scale that you just did, that is how I will add challenge or add a level of coaching that you may have not had before or, or you have because you've done the kin stretch. Okay, so because today is spine, everything we're gonna be doing is focused on the spine all 30 minutes. We're gonna start in tabletop. So Haley, I'm gonna have you go in tabletop. Yep, face 90 degrees from the camera. Awesome. So. Today, we are gonna focus on linear spinal segmentation, which is rounding and extending or flexing and extending the spine. We're gonna start at the top of the spine, hang tight. We're gonna start at the top of the spine in the cervical, and then we're gonna work our way down to our lumbar spine. After that, we're gonna do a little bit of rotation with some spine cars, and then finish with a ton of core-focused spine segmentation. Okay, so we're gonna do each section for two minutes because we wanna channel our slow twitch fibers, namely the multifidi. So that's gonna run really deep in the spine and actually innervates all of the vertebrae of the spine. So the spine's stacked on top of each other and the multifidi actually goes into and kind of inserts itself into all the vertebrae. And that is a slow twitch fiber muscle. So we need to train it uh, longer than a minute 15. So we're gonna go two minutes. A lot of info there. So now, Haley, what I'm gonna have you do is you're just gonna drop the chin down to the chest and then pull the head up and look to the ceiling. Good, so I want no movement. So you see how Haley's starting to move through her lumbar spine a little bit and thoracic spine? Haley, I want just the neck, okay? And I want you to slow down, nice and slow. Good, so I've got a timer rolling here for two minutes. Y'all are going with us here. Now, one thing I want you to focus on is how long the head is off the shoulders. So Haley, I want you to really traction that spine and try and get as long as you can through that space. Good. And then what I'm gonna have her do is cue through the chin. So Haley, uh, don't reach with the chin. I want you to pull the chin into the Adam's apple, or you don't have an Adam's apple, but pull the chin into the throat and then roll the head up and let the chin come out of the throat. Good. First thing you're gonna do is tuck the chin into the throat and then round forward. So what that's gonna do is start to segment the spine a little bit cleaner. So we go top of the cervical spine first by doing the chin, good, and then she moves through the rest of the cervical spine. Awesome, we have one more minute. So Haley, just nice and slow. Now, this is done at anywhere from 30 to 60% irradiation, just depending on how familiar and how comfortable you are with it. Where the irradiation is gonna come is the abs mostly. So Haley, suck the belly button in and I want you to meet me at 60%. We're gonna go on that top end, okay? Now drive the hands into the ground. You're gonna feel a little bit of tension through the thoracic spine as well. Good. We're gonna go for 30 more seconds. Make sure we're breathing nice, slow, not super deep, more of a shallow breath to where you can keep the abs engaged. 
Good, slow it down for me. Perfect, two more full reps, everybody. Good, that's one Haley, one more. And two, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go into our thoracic spine. So that is the next spot down on the spine. So that's gonna be about from here to here. So bottom of the cervical to the top of the lumbar, that's the thoracic spine. Haley, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop into a seated position and we're gonna bring the hands on the ground like this. Good, and Haley has a existing wrist injury from uh, some mountain biking and movie having furniture. So you see her doing some wrist cars there, uh, just keeping the synovial fluid flowing. So if uh, that feels better for you on the wrist, you can go like that. And then I want you to bring the, the forearms right to the, the elbows, perfect, okay. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna round the lumbar spine. So I want you to push into my hand as much as you can. Yeah, good. So imagine like you're accepting a punch in the abdomen. Good, and it rounds the low back. So I'm gonna cue her constantly to keep the round in this tension, okay? So you're gonna push back. And then with what's left, you're gonna do a cat cow with the upper spine. So did you see how you did most of that through the shoulder blades? Mm -hmm. Try and do more as if I'm like grabbing your bra strap and pulling the chest up. There you go, good. So she's gonna round the back, push into my hands, uh, push into my hands, good, push, pause, don't move, push more, push more, push more, push more, good. So now she's got a really big rounding. Now imagine I'm grabbing the bra strap and I'm pulling forward, good, into big extension, perfect. Now again, like I'm pushing that rib back and pull forward, awesome. We're gonna be here two minutes. So again, she's starting to move that lumbar spine. So I'm gonna apply my hand here just to remind her to keep that lumbar spine nice and rounded. Awesome. And then do your best, Haley, not to shrug the shoulders too much. We're trying to go all through the spine, less through the shoulders. Yeah, nice, good control, good breathing. We're already 45 seconds in. Now, one thing you can do is, through the hands, if you pull the hands kind of back against the legs, you can get a little bit of power through the arms and that's gonna allow you to pull into extension a little bit better. So right here, you're gonna pull the hands back and you're able to pull the chest up more. Perfect, good job. Awesome, we, pa we passed a minute, we've got 45 seconds left. Good, and then constant reminder not to use that lumbar spine. So she's gonna suck that belly button in nice and tight Keep rolling, Haley. I'm just gonna put my hands here. And so you can really feel that block of where I want you to be. Perfect, so again, sucking that belly button in. Stay with me here, Haley. We've got 25 seconds. One thing she could also use, or you could use, is a band around the lumbar spine so that she has feedback to push into. So an option there, you'd wrap it around just like this and hold it. One more full round. Perfect, that's great. Haley, now we're gonna move into the lumbar spine. How are you feeling so far? Good. Good, okay. So lumbar spine, we're gonna put the hands on the ground like this, okay? And then we're gonna lift the butt, okay? So where I want her is her hand, or her head is gonna go into her hands, and then her tailbone is gonna be right over her knees, okay? Now, so Haley, try, uh, I don't, are you comfy with your elbows where they are right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So what I, did, I just pulled them out a little bit wider so she had a better base of support. And then what I'm gonna have her do is push your elbows into the ground. So now we're gonna switch, we're gonna try and round the upper back and block it off. So she's pushing up here the entire time. And then Haley, we're gonna just start to segment the lumbar spine. Good. So yep, yeah, make any adjustments you need. And I've got the timer rolling, so you guys are gonna start. So you're seeing here as she's going, She's really wanting to drive through the lower thoracic spine up here, which we do not want. So Haley, try and block off a little bit lower. Good, down here. Now, just in the pelvis, beautiful. That's exactly what we are looking for. Good, and so this should almost look like a, like a controlled torque. Um, so you're just tilting that pelvis forward and back. Now, Haley, if you can slow it down, but turn up the tension so that irradiation may be going up 10 to 20%. Abs are really tight. Then you're gonna pull into that pelvis tuck and then drop down into that, that uh, extension. Good, so she's dropping into extension here and then she's pushing up into flexion. 
She's dropping into extension and then in deflection. Now, Haley, you're doing an awesome job of blocking that thoracic spine. So you're seeing she's getting a flexion here and then an extension here. That's the separation between the thoracic up here and the lumbar down here. Awesome work. Haley, we only have 15 more seconds. Abs are tight the entire time, really driving movement. Perfect. Two more reps and then we're going to move on. Good job. Okay, Haley, you are, you are good there. Okay, uh, you need a drink or anything? Okay, we're gonna now grab the foam roller and we're gonna go into some segmentation here. So this is gonna be completely new to Haley. She's never done this before. So if you haven't either, it's perfect. I will kind of go over it first and then Haley, I'll have you dive in. So we are gonna be segmenting the, thir or the lumbar spine first and then we're gonna move up the spine. So I'm gonna come onto the foam roller in a, in a hip bridge position. So for some people, it might be easier to start on the ground, take your hip bridge and slide the foam roller under. Now, naturally where you take your hip bridge, you're gonna slide the foam roller up and then you're gonna set down. Now, what I want is no movement above the foam roller. So I'm gonna be able to drop my pelvis down and round around the foam roller and then I'm gonna tuck the pelvis and go up into flexion. So I drop into extension and then tuck into flexion. Okay, Haley, yeah. cool. And then from there, I'm going to switch into my, my thoracic spine. So I'm going to now be blocking off the lumbar and then I'm going to open up my thoracic spine and drive forward. And this is where the core work is going to start to come into play. You'll feel as I open up, I can channel this like deep shake and then I'm squeezing the abs for a really intense style of a crunch. Okay. So we're gonna do 10 of each side. Haley, let's go ahead and get you in a hip bridge. Perfect, so take your hip bridge and then slide this under. So Haley can take a really high hip bridge. We might not go all the way up. I'm gonna go right at her bra strap, perfect, and then set down. Okay, so now, excuse me, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Haley push her rib cage down into the foam roller, okay? Now don't let that rib cage flare. She's gonna push the pelvis and wrap it down around the foam roller. So as, like try to touch it to the ground and then tuck the pelvis like you're doing a hip bridge. Good, so, so tuck underneath. So you're gonna go this way. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So you wrap, wrap down around the foam roller and then tuck up the pelvis underneath you. So you should be driving through your feet using your glutes. Okay. okay? Good, and so you can see she's kind of struggling to get that top position of that pelvic tuck. What are you feeling here? I mean, those two things are opposite, so that's a yes. little hard. Yeah, so she said those two things are opposite, so it's a little hard. So that is the challenge of creating a block, right? So she's trying to create the block here by not moving the thoracic spine, and then she's trying to use the lumbar spine. Okay, so it's not a big movement. So just try and roll through what you can. Use your feet more, so maybe narrow those feet just a little bit. Stay on the foam roller and tuck the pelvis. Good, and wrapping down, perfect. So that's all you've got. We're gonna roll through 10 reps. Perfect, Haley. Let's call that three right there, really good. Big tuck and drive, good. Four, wrapping down, big tuck and drive. Five, there we go, nice. Six, and you're seeing a really good job how she's not moving this upper spine at all. She's really focused on pressing that rib cage down. You have two more here. Awesome. One more. Beautiful. Now take your hip bridge and I'm going to slide this out from under you. Okay. Now drop the hips, do a sit up. And now we're going to go to the, the foam roller should be on roughly the same spot. So go ahead and sit back. Good. Now hands behind your head. Okay. So come, nope, tailbone down. <laughs> and so now this one's going to be really hard. You're gonna have to keep this part of your spine, the lumbar spine, from not moving. Okay. And then you're gonna lean back into my hands and go into as much extension as you can. And you're gonna feel that deep shake and now take your crunch. Good, yeah. So you can see it in her face. She's really working here. This should be a max intensity, max irradiation. So I'm talking 80, 90, 100% squeeze here, okay? So this is, this is ab work here. Even though we're focused on segmenting the spine, super big core engagement here. Awesome, Haley. 
Good, get that breath a little bit louder. So she inhales on the way down, she's, a, she's hissing on the way up. So inhale, squeeze. Inhale, squeeze. There you go, slow it down, dig in. Do you know what rep this is for you? She doesn't know. We're gonna call it five, five more. Six, good, stay with me. Seven, three more. Eight, good, more pull forward. Nine, there it is, one more. 10, and you are done. Now we're gonna slide that foam roller. Awesome, really good job. So now we're gonna move into a rotational capacity. So we're gonna do spine cars. Uh, I'm gonna bring a seat for Haley just to give you guys an option of how to do this. So Haley, go ahead and stand up for me. And this is gonna be her seat. So you can also do this kneeling if you don't have a seat or high kneeling as well or standing. Either will, or all three will work. But we're gonna do it seated. Haley, you're gonna cross your arms, okay? So she's done a spine car before she knows what it entails, but I'm gonna walk us through uh, very controlled. So what I'm gonna have her do is, I'm gonna have you start by rounding in the pelvis. So other direction. Yep, good. So she's gonna round in the pelvis, she's gonna move up the spine into full flexion, and then you're gonna rotate to the left, Haley. So rotating as much as she can to the left, she's gonna drop this left shoulder. Now tilt the pelvis the opposite direction into extension, pull up to the ceiling, rotate to your right. Now pause here, start in the pelvis again. Yes, good transition, and unwind. She's gonna do two in each direction, rotating to the left, pelvis, rolling up the spine, rotating through center, back into the pelvis. Good, and unwind, other direction. Now to the right, rotating to the right. She's gonna push that pelvis forward, pull up into extension, rotate to the left, pelvis first. Good, and you can do those transitions a little bit slower. Okay. Rotating to the right, tilt that pelvis, pull into extension, rotate to the left. So here's where I want it slower. Tilt that pelvis and unwind. Perfect, good job. Okay, so we've got about 10 minutes left of class and this is gonna be pure core work, okay? So we're gonna move that bench off. If you could set it in the corner over there. And we are gonna need our weight or our anchor here, okay? So Haley's gonna start with spinal segmentation sit-ups, okay? So this is a new twist on an old move. Uh, we can do sit-ups without the spine like this, where I'm primarily hinging through the hip flexor, okay? And you probably feel it when you do your sit-ups. What I'm gonna have Haley do is she's gonna lock onto this kettlebell and she's gonna focus on going vertebrae by vertebrae. So she's gonna pull up through the upper thoracic, mid thoracic, lower thoracic, and now I'm locking my feet onto this way and pulling into maximum flexion all the way up. You get to take just a short breath and then you go back down. So you go lumbar spine first and then slowly roll back down. Okay, you got that? We're gonna do this for three minutes. So I don't, I, <laughs> I don't care how many reps you do, okay? Like my ideal would be you do three reps, Haley. Yeah. Uh, three to five reps and just really hammering out the intentional movement of the segmentation, okay? Uh, so slow twitch fibers we're going for in the core and the spine. So go ahead, grab a seat, here we go. Um, for this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a strict timer <laughs> so I don't make you guys go any further. Here we are, we are on, squeezing that dumbbell. Haley, cross your arms. You're gonna pull up through your upper back first. Good, nice and slow, nice and slow. Keep getting smaller, rounding, rounding, rounding. Now squeeze into your feet, squeeze into your feet. Pull, 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 pull. Good, she's all the way through flexion. She gets a short breath here and you're gonna go right back down, okay? Lowest spine first, keep inflection, keep inflection. Good, she's trying to push the belly button down. Once the belly button makes contact, there's that deep shake. Then the bra strap comes next, and then all the way down. Good, that was 40 seconds, not too bad, right? Let's go again, don't lose tension, right back up. Shh. Squeeze, 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 more flexion, more flexion, more flexion, more flexion. All the way up, she gets a really short breath, and she's right back down. Good, 
waistband touches first. Crunch, 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 crunch. And slowly all the way down. Right when you want to rest, into the next rep, let's go. Don't rest, go. Shh. Squeeze, squeeze, more flexion. Good, y'all. We're at a minute 15, almost there, or almost halfway. Good, and right back down. As much flexion as you can get. Now, you see Haley's pulling through the head. She doesn't need to. So if you want to pull the chin slightly away from the chest for a little less neck strain, good job. Nice control. Haley, stay with me. Drop it in again. Squeeze. I know. I know it's not fun. Slow it down if you want less reps. Good. Take a breath. Squeeze again. Shh. Tilt the head back a little bit. Good. More rounding, more rounding. Squeeze the core. Try and channel that deep shake again. Final minute, one minute to go, lock in, squeeze. More flexion, more flexion, more flexion. So you see as she's fatiguing, she's trying to speed up because it's easier to skip the hard parts. Slow it down for me, Haley. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Waistband sets down, bra strap sets down. And one more rep, we got 40 seconds, slow it down, slow it down, squeeze, 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 more slow, more slow, more slow, this top portion is easy. Stay with me, more flexion, more flexion. Take a breath, here it is, 30 seconds down, squeeze, slow, 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 lock in. She's gonna try and channel as much flexion as she can. She's trying to touch her ribs to her waistband. All the way down, we have 15 seconds. Stay with me here, all the way, all the way, all the way. Good, three, two, and one. Beautiful job there, okay? Awesome. So we're gonna take a quick breather. She's gonna take a drink before we hammer in the next movement, okay? So as she chills, I'm gonna walk us through. Hey, if you could just scoot slightly over to the side, perfect. So as you're recovering, grabbing a drink, this is what we're gonna move into. And this will be our finisher. This is gonna be our last move of, uh, of the day. So I'm clearing this out. Okay, so I'm gonna lay on my back and this is gonna be a reverse crunch. So it's gonna be the exact same thing we just worked, but now rather from the top down from with the sit up, we are now gonna go from the bottom up. So I'm gonna lock onto this weight. My knees come over the pelvis, and then I'm gonna slowly, so I'm pulling up on the, or the, the kettlebell here, and my hips come off first, mid back, low back, and then I slowly am rocking down. Now, options here are scalability, okay? So the more the knees are into the chest, the easier it is. So as you see, I pull the knees into the chest and automatically the lumbar spine comes off the ground. Okay, so that's gonna be the easiest version to do. We're gonna be able to use the legs and pull ourselves up. Okay, as you want more challenge, you're just gonna slowly drop the knees down, 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 down. Now the hardest version would be a leg straight out. I don't even know if I can get it up. And you see, as I tried to do it, I needed to pull my legs about up to 90 before I was able to start to segment. I wanna prioritize the segmentation of the spine over the uh, challenge or setting of my legs, okay? So one thing you'll find as well is as you start to fatigue out, that setting is gonna change. It's, it's variable all the time, okay? So we might start off at a really hard position and as we fatigue, maybe get a little bit easier, that's fine. We're gonna go three minutes to finish this off, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, drop it down. All right, for the last effort of this class is our reverse spinal segmentation. Haley, you ready to get this on? Yeah. Okay, so Haley, I want you to first try one rep to find your starting position. Okay, so bend your knees, bring them over the pelvis. Okay, now get a feeling of starting to pull up on that kettlebell, okay? And then, yep, go through one segmentation and right back down. So controlled, good. And so do you see how you're leveraging your legs and making it pretty easy for yourself? Yeah. I want you to bend your knees and then as you pull up, try and pull the knees as little forward as possible. So pull them straight up to the ceiling. 
Much harder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> perfect. Much harder. So now you got to see that how when she would leverage her legs way over her body, they didn't weigh very much. So it was easy. What I want you to do is really find that threshold of like control and challenge. Okay. You ready to go? So she's got her spot. We're starting the timer in three, two, one, and go. Let's slowly pull up. Good. Remember we have three minutes. So take your time here. Good. And slowly back down. Awesome. Feeling okay on the wrist? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Pull up. Good. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to stop her knees from going too far forward to make sure she gets good core work. She said she wanted to do more core work. So here we are. <laughs> All right. Stay in it. Let's go. 30 seconds in. It's unfair of me to make a joke while she's working. And right back down. Good. Keep it going. Take a breath. Squeeze. The slower you can go, the less you have to do. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Drop the knees. Good. Pull them in a little higher and back down. Awesome. She's really in the pain cave right now. I'm sure you are as well. Take a breath. So take an adjustment. Pull those knees in a little further. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. Let's go. We got three minutes. Only one down. One, to go, one down, two to go, and back down. Perfect. So one thing I'm gonna recommend for Haley as she's fighting through the pulling is pull your knees up on the way up towards you and then try and push them out on the way down. So it's easier on the way up, but it's harder on the way out. That's a good middle ground. Let's keep rolling. So she's halfway here. Now, one thing I want you guys to really focus on is excuse me, segmentation of the spine, because even though this is core work, it is spine focused. We're trying to develop a core that can express the movement of the spine. Big pull, big pull, big pull. Now push the knees forward and fight it down. Forward, towards me, towards me, towards me. There you go, yep, good, good, good. All the way down, beautiful job. Guys, we have one final minute. Lock in and dig everything you got, okay? Give me three more reps, Haley, three more reps. Nice and slow, pull, 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 slower down. Push the knees forward towards me, fight it, fight it, fight it. Beautiful job. Take a breath, slow it down. We're going too fast to hit our goal. Let's go. Big breaths here, big breaths. Good, push those knees forward. Fight it, fight it, pull up on the kettlebell. You're doing awesome, you're doing awesome. Here we go, take a breath. Give me one more good rep, guys. One more good rep, let's finish this off strong. Slow, all the way up, all the way down. Back down, nice and slow, nice and slow. Final 10 seconds, y'all. And that is a wrap on the spine class. Good job, Haley. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys, thanks for participating. If there's anything you want to see specifically, leave me a comment after this class. Let me know and we will give it to you. Otherwise, until next time, adios.